in the Turf Classic, factored this as extremely solid and draws the rail. But he also spots a point of weight to most of the field, which takes him from a strong contender to a contender. Bowie's hero has figures last year that would put him in this, but he hasn't been as good this year, and D'Amato has not done well at Churchill. Rock Emperor has been extremely well managed, which makes his mediocre figures look a lot better than that. He's one of the slower horses in this field and will be way over bet. Digital Age is another who has never run fast enough to contend here. This one is a little tricky because he's been coming from behind in slow paced races, but he would need a new top just to contend. Don't blame Rocket has gotten better with age, but this year has been running good figures with little to show for it, mostly because he's been spotting weight. He won't be doing that this time, and if he runs back to his concealed good effort last time, he's going to at least get a piece of this at a big price. Mr. Dumas is better this year. Like a lot of maker grass horses, he is very solid, and since he's only four, figures have improvement coming. Since we don't like the favorites, he's a must-use. Sacred Life is the Chad Brown trainee that is longest in the morning line, but he has significantly better figures than the other two. He's also getting better with age and might even run a new top second off a layoff. This could be a coming out party for Sacred Life. Some like it hot brown ran a couple of big ones over synthetic this winter, but his recent grass efforts haven't been as good. He is also co highway and he's tough to like here. The bottom line is, there's plenty of speed on paper, so it should be a fairly run race. Sacred Life is the most likely winner, and don't blame Rocket and Mr. Dumas are usable long shots. If you're playing tries or supers, factor this as the other to use.